All right, Sooner Nation, moving on to the last part of the show. You know, it's our favorite listener submitted questions. But first, but first, but first, we have a birthday shout out. Braden, take us yeah. away. Yeah, we do have a birthday shout out. And I also want to say before I get to the shout out, you know, Jay Hall and I have said it plenty of times before. But if you want to, you can reach out to us, you know, via our DMs, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, you can't email us. I probably won't respond. I don't check my email like that. But you can you can email us. But um, and we'll reply. You know, we have a little downtime, whatever the case would be. Reply like you might have seen couple of days ago i took a picture with a kid it was his birthday his dad dm'd me you know so just you know keep that in mind but the birthday shout out goes to uh happy belated birthday to ryan beller riot beller he turned ninth on the he turned nine on the fourth uh his parents reached out to us and told us that he was a listener in the pod and his son has just really loved the pod ever since it started and his love for the game has just grew tenfold so um yeah, shout out to Riot, and I uh, hope you had a great birthday, man. And if you want a shout out like this, we can give shout outs. So, yeah. For sure, man. Riot, uh, happy belated birthday. Um, one thing that stood out to me in his message to us, he said that our podcast made him realize that we're just everyday people. <laughs> you know, we're normal, just like you guys. Uh, we just happen to play football in our better at it than the average person so um appreciate you riot and the family for shooting us that message thank you for tuning in listening to the pod um if you guys want us to shout you guys out for any specific reason uh feel free like Braden said to hit us up um hopefully there's something like special behind it or something cool you know we're not just giving shout outs just to give shout outs but i have a shout out of my own before we get to listener submitted questions. Um, shout out to Kill Bill Mob on Twitter. Um, he came and supported the Sooners at the Senior Bowl. Didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I've been messaging him on Twitter for the past two weeks. Tried to get his son an autograph personally, but just didn't have the chance and the time. However, he did. Um, it was crazy. I was taking a picture with my mom, but I was still on the field and he threw an OU flag on the field like this man was in the stands and just threw it like he just launched it. And I was like, shoot, I'll just go ahead and sign it. And instead of getting a picture with me, he ended up getting a picture with my mom and um, my grandparents messaged me after the game and said he had a great time as well. So once again, shout out to Kill Bill on Twitter. Moving on to our listener submitted questions. Brayden, what's the first one we got? First one is from the tatted Sooner. We all know him. <laughs> He's well known in the Sooner community, especially on Twitter. But he asked, how does the uh, team handle two guys on the same side of the ball wanting the same number? And you know what? That's a great question. Not a lot of people ask that question. Um, usually question. seniority wins or how good you are wins yeah. basically i'm gonna say it like that so like if a senior if a senior wants a number and a freshman or a guy that was just a freshman going to sophomore year wants a number most likely the senior is going to get that number unless the freshman is well i can't even say this because i was going to say like danny Sessman or something like that but he got his number take by, uh taken by the number that he wanted it was taken by uh kobe so i can't even say that but uh yeah, yeah usually you know, seniority wins. When I came in, uh obviously I wore number 27 in high school and won at 27 when I got to OU. And a walk-on had, I'm not gonna say his name, but a walk-on had my number. And um I think he was a red shirt sophomore or a true sophomore, and they took his took his number and gave it to me. <laughs> so um I don't know. Yeah. Seniority is always the thing. Maybe it's seniority plus the scholarship. Um, yeah, that that too. Well, when I was trying to change my number, when I was trying to change, <laughs> I was, I was there. Was, I'm not gonna say names or numbers, but there were certain numbers where the equipment staff was like, "Well, you could take his number if you want it. You could take his too. You don't care." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I don't want to take guys' numbers." <laughs> oh man! But and then party. I also. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't do any of that. You know, I say I went and talked to Shafe, and Shafe let me have nine, and he 
you know, all that good stuff. But I will say for everybody that was asking me about the number deal, I tried to switch my number early on in my career, sophomore year. I tried to switch it to number seven because that's what I was in high school. Well, if y'all don't remember, when I was a soft, going into sophomore, Spence was coming in as a freshman. So guess who got that number? Then I was like, ah. ah. I was like, you know what? Okay, that's cool. I was like, he was like, you waited too late for that one, buddy. He was like, you want to choose it to, you want to change it to another number? I was like, you know what? Uh, my freshman year of high school, I was 11, and my birthday is November 11th. I was like, give me 11. That's my lucky number, too. He's like, ah. Hey man, Jaden has that one. I was like, all right, you know what? Just give me, just let me keep 81. I don't care. <laughs> man, the number struggle, it, the number struggle is low key real though. Like, if you don't, if somebody has your number when you first come in, that's a, that's a difficult situation. So, good question. Uh, definitely a first one for us. Moving on to our next one, Coda underscore Perry on Twitter asks, have either of you ever been starstruck by a former Sooner? Yes, I will never forget my first team meeting. This was back when we were still in the trailers. So this was back before we even had a locker room or had the red room that we do now, the big old fancy chairs, that type of deal. I sat down and Baker Mayfield walks in and I'm like, Oh my God, it's him. Like it's, it's the Baker Mayfield. Like that's number six, like Heisman now my knee, like, whoa, like I'm really on the same team as him. And I was just sitting there starstruck, like, man, I'm really here. Like I actually made it. And, uh, long story short, I think I was in Dimitri Flower's seat and, um, I got bullied and they told me to move to the back and yeah. Things went downhill after that because I was like nervous and they made all the freshmen come to the front of the room. But yeah, I'll never forget that day. That was actually um that was actually kind of cool. But the more time you spend around here though, um, the more you just get used to guys coming back. So uh-huh. yeah. Um I would as well, I'll say this. As as it pertains to players that I've played with. Yes and no. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to have played with certain guys and everything like that. But it's just like Jay Hall said, it's just kind of normal when you go here. But one guy that I did idolize, you know, coming, you know, I, and I didn't even really watch OU like this. And that's how you know I was such a big fan of him was uh, AD, Adrian Peterson. Of course, who wouldn't? You know what I'm saying? But the biggest reason why is because he's from uh, Palestine or Pal- yeah, Palestine, Texas, the East Texas boy. And my dad's from East Texas. And so that's how I used to hear about him all the time. I didn't really watch OU growing up, but I knew about AD. So um, I, that's that's who I would say my, you know, someone that I looked up to or, you know, whatever came in who I looked up to coming in. So mm-hmm. I think he was, uh, he was one of the coaches for, I think my freshman year spring game on my sophomore year. And, uh, I remember thinking that was pretty cool. Cause I think that was my first time seeing him. So yeah, definitely understand that one. Um, shoot. I guess I'll take the last question. Uh, Kathy Hart asked, what is the worst play slash biggest blooper you've made in your football career hmm. hmm this is a good question i never i probably should have read this one before we started because i don't even I know. know man i think the first one that comes to mind is maybe my fumble versus kansas but nobody really touched the ball. Like I just dropped the ball. But I would I don't know if you would consider that a blooper because I just that was just a play. Like I don't I don't think I've ever had like just a moment where I was just like, oh, I don't know what to do. You know? Yeah, blooper, man. Um I mean okay. I don't know. In college football, you have a blooper, you're getting taken out. <laughs> so I, okay, I will say maybe there's been bloopers as far as it pertains to blocking like i've know I've, I've done some you know some something goofy or you know i'm saying something just yeah. really off the wall when it pertains to blocking maybe when i was younger like sophomore year or something like that like not doing the job i was supposed to do or something or getting tossed or something like that but as it pertains to like something that people actually see 
I really don't remember. Yeah. I think another one that I, I think that comes to mind is in 2020, um, I don't know what game or even what play this was, but we were blocking, uh, you know, cut Braden when we go backside. So it's like a split zone, inside, outside zone. And I didn't know whether I was going to cut the guy. So dive at his <laughs> angles. I do remember. Angles. <laughs> Or, or yeah, yeah, I didn't know if I was gonna cut the guy or if I was gonna, uh, if I was gonna stand up and you know give him the shoulder, and I kind of did a combination of both, which didn't look pretty at all. And uh, Beamer was just looking at me like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> so, um, yeah, nah, that's probably the best one I got. I would say the best one I have would probably come from high school. The best one in college I have to have was probably. If when we were playing Florida, it wasn't really a blooper, you know, it was just kind of like stop messing yeah. around type of deal. You know what I'm saying? I had the play before I had blocked this DN all the way to the sideline and I tossed him to the sideline. It was on our sideline and I was over there talking mess to him and then coach called a uh, tempo play. And so everybody else was lined up and I was on the sideline still talking mess. And I like, stopped talking mess and get back in the game. And I was like, oh, okay. And then so I ran back over there, you know. That was probably the <laughs> the biggest one I got, but there was one in high school where we were we were playing some some really good team uh, at the time, and uh, we were my junior year we were okay we were solid but we weren't anything special like how we were my senior year, and I was yeah. going out for a pass our quarterback I was open he didn't see me so then he started scrambling he rolled out I rolled out with him and he threw a ball to me and I was yeah. wide open wide open and i think i was looking at the end zone or something like that i just dropped the ball boom boom boom, boom. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then we end up losing the game by maybe like a touchdown or two and i was like well that was uh, that could have been the game winner right there it was early in the game but then you look back it's like we lost the game by a touchdown well there you go so i guess you yeah. can say that one for sure these are some good questions probably our best set of questions we've had all year so um appreciate it uh thank you and that is all, ladies and gentlemen, that we have for this segment of the podcast on the prairie. That is the end of our listener submitted questions. Thank you guys for the continued support. As always, we love you guys. Um, like Braden said earlier in the show, feel free to hit us up. Uh, we we typically respond. I've been slow here lately just because I've had a lot going on, but I'll get back to you guys whenever I can. And yeah, we love you all. We appreciate you. Pre- we appreciate you guys. And Bomer. Yes, sir. This is.